I wanted to give you a pretty useful tool that I created for you to think about leadership. This is something that I call the golden triangle of leadership. And it's something that I want you to have in the back of your mind always. And this will greatly influence how you think about being a leader inside of your company. Let's start off with the top of the triangle here. We have your beliefs. Your beliefs are ultimately your North Star, your philosophy on life, your philosophy on leadership. So for example, my belief is that we all deserve to show up to work every day to be part of an organization where we feel like we genuinely want not need to be there. My belief is that everyone in an organization who is in a position of leadership should embrace the skills and the mindsets that I'm gonna be talking about during this course. This is my belief, this is my, my North Star. We should all be part of these types of organizations. I don't think it's a privilege, I think it's a right. That's my belief. So what are your beliefs on being a leader? What are your leadership beliefs? For example, do you believe that people always come before profits? What is your North Star of leadership? And this is important because your beliefs are then going to shape the next section of this, which are your thoughts. Your thoughts are gonna be specifically around how you think. So the way that this works is we start off with our beliefs. Our beliefs are then going to shape our thoughts. If you believe, for example, that people come before profits, then you're gonna think your thoughts are gonna be constantly around how do I upskill my employees? How do I retrain them? How do I invest in our community? How do I create better experiences for our people? If you believe that the primary purpose of a business is to make money, then your thoughts are constantly gonna be around, well, how do we use technology to replace workers? How do I use technology to make us more productive and efficient? How do I make sure that we hit the, the numbers next quarter and next year? That's all that you're gonna be thinking about and you will do whatever it takes to meet those numbers, even if it's at the sacrifice of your people. So again, beliefs, your North Star, your philosophy on life, your philosophy on leadership, that's gonna dictate your thoughts, how you think about certain things, and your thoughts are then going to lead to the actions that you take. So your beliefs, your North Star, they will shape your thoughts, your thoughts shape your actions. What are you actually doing? Are you investing in the community? Are you investing in the employee experience? Are you putting aside money for training and upskilling your people? Are you gonna redesign your workspaces? Are you going to create diversity and inclusion programs? What are the things that you're actually gonna do? So you can see how this kind of comes full circle. Your North Star, how you think about life and leadership will dictate the thoughts that you have. The thoughts that you have will then dictate the actions that you take. And all of these things are what make you the leader that you are. And this is why I call this the golden triangle of leadership, because this is what is going to shape who you are as a leader. So this is something I want you to have in the back of your mind always. Think about what are your beliefs? What are your beliefs on leadership, on being a leader inside of your company? And then think about the thoughts that you have during meetings, during conversations with people, when it comes time to make strategic decisions or to decide on a direction for the company or for a team. Look at how your thoughts, the direction that those thoughts go. And then look at how your actions manifest themselves. And if you constantly think about this and have this in the back of your mind, you're gonna clearly be able to map out and understand the type of leader that you are. And then you'll be able to decide if you need to make change. Do you need to change your beliefs? And do you need to change your thoughts and how you think about being a leader? And do you need to change the actions that you take inside of your organization as a result? Being a leader is the hardest thing that you're gonna do in your entire life. Being a great leader, I think, is the, the most difficult journey that anybody can go on. But I also think it's gonna be the most rewarding thing that you can do in your life. And not only will this help you, but it will also help your organization. It will help the people that you work with, the people who work for you. And ultimately this will future-proof your career 
this will future-proof your organization.